What is Remembrance Day? Why is it important? Like the name suggests, many of you may think it is a day for remembering. Remembering those who have made sacrifice for us. The truth is, people have had to pay for our way of life, and part of that has been through war. Men and women have sacrificed their freedoms and lives for ours. On this day, we remember them. This day isn't just for remembering their sacrifice. It is also an opportunity to reflect on ourselves and our society. One day, we will inherit this world, and it is our job to maintain and improve upon the peace given to us. The world has been fighting and divided for so long. When will this constant fight end? I think we have not only the compassion and consciousness to honor the sacrifices of those who have fought before us, but the power to honor them by making a change and keeping the peace they fought so hard for. These soldiers were, are, more than just war machines. My Uncle Tony was a tank operator during the Second World War. He was killed when he got out of his tank at, to help an injured soldier. The compassion and bravery he showed in that moment gives me hope. Knowing that he would risk his life to save someone else's shows us we are all capable of compassion, of thinking beyond ourselves for a greater cause. We owe our way of life to men and women like my Uncle Tony. And now it is time to think about how to live up to their sacrifices. That is what this day is for. A day to shed light on their bravery and to let them know that their dedication does not go unnoticed. It is a day to remind us what they fought for. Sadly, wars fought by our soldiers are not finished once they leave the battlefield. Reality is that those memories still haunt them. Wars and violence continue to live in the minds of our veterans and in the minds of civilians caught in the fray.
through some of the real stuff. The fellas are asleep now. Tomorrow they'll go on, because each one of them knows that thousands of miles away, back home, there's a good soldier standing behind every one of us fighting out here. Ever since I got your last letter, I've been thinking of your end of the war. Thinking of you rolling those bandages. Helping to build up the blood bank. Working over at the nursery twice a week, keeping the kids out of mischief while their folks are helping to win this war. Au champ d'honneur, les coquelicots sont parsemés de l'eau en l'eau auprès des croix. Et dans l'espace, les alouettes devenues lasses mêlent leur chant au sifflement des obussiers. Nous sommes morts, nous qui songions la veille encore. À nos parents, à nos amis, c'est nous qui reposons ici, au champ d'honneur. À vous, jeunes désabusés, à vous de porter le riflame et de garder, au fond de l'âme, le goût de vivre en liberté. Accepter le défi, sinon les coquelicots se faneront au champ d'honneur. In Flanders Fields In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders Fields.
They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. War, such a small word for such an enormous idea. War isn't black and white, it's all shades of gray. It's not as simple as the good against the bad. War is complex. It's not friend against enemy, it is person against person. It's nation against nation, ideology against ideology. But while ideas can bring nations to war, ideas can also bring nations to peace. Our world overflows with different religions, different cultures, and different kinds of beauty. But people like you and I can unite with shared ideas and values, ones that reflect respect for all despite our differences. We can unite with the goal of peace. But our world cannot truly be at peace until we find that ideal within ourselves, and this may sometimes feel difficult in a world full of strife. We all have the capacity to feel, to love, and to understand each other. So there is hope if you can find common ground with our fellow humans. A world without violence and conflict, this is a possible dream. I once had a dream of this perfect world No more killing, no more wars A world of peace without enemies A world of kindness and no more sadness But soon it faded away this world that I saw was never gonna stay And soon I realized This vision that I had was only My impossible dream Ooh, ooh I saw many beautiful things No more religions caused any hate People were happy and lived their lives in peace Everything was possible if you only believed But soon it faded away this world that I saw was never gonna stay And soon I realized This vision that I had was only My impossible dream Ooh, ooh Possible dream. 